You might think that because your city's in King's Land, you could be off territory. You're safe. What's 254 going to do? Well, <laughs> we popped craftsmen, built a couple flags, cut off an entire flag chain, zeroed all the cities on that chain, then took the pass to King's Land, and um, also zeroed between 50 and 60 cities in total. So in this video, I'm going to showcase just a little bit of the footage from the insane mayhem that we thought was going to last, I don't know, maybe an hour of fun and delete a bunch of flags that the enemy had and protect our circles and turned into like a proper four to five hour King's Land invasion. So stick around for a sampling of all the chaos. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming, and this video has been sponsored by the makers of Rise of Kingdoms. And I wish I had been able to stream this, but I was sort of hanging out with my wife. We were watching TV, uh, Vikings, in case you were wondering, absolutely loving that show. And, you know, I had to get in a little bit of family time, so I couldn't stream all this, but I did play on my farm and stuff the pass with troops uh, pretty much throughout the night, uh, which was, I think, uh, yeah, I don't know, not as much of a contribution as I could have made on my main, but still something rather than nothing. And I recorded all this chaos, which included city zeroing, and for the most part, us taking some pretty negative trades at the pass in order to do as much damage as we possibly could on all the cities that we could get access to. Now, you may be wondering, whoa, 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 just go, how in the world did you even get access to King's Land in the first place? This is the pass that we were at uh, filling with, with my farm troops for literally hours. Um, let me jump in game real quick. And although the map looks different now than it did when we did the takeover, let me jump in game and just show you what this looked like because this was a uh, surprise attack that we did. And uh, let's get a look. Okay, so here is King's Land. And here is the pass that we took and held for many hours, which I didn't expect we'd be able to do. Um, and the reason that we made this move um, is that there was a flag chain coming out of here that was not well protected that went all the way up to our circle over here. And we wanted to buy ourselves some more time in this zone, in other zones. And so what we did is at the time, all it took was like a craftsman, two flags down, take the pass, disconnected all the enemy flags going all the way up to here, zeroed all the cities that were offline on that territory. Um, and then also we just started rallying all the cities that were in here. And we built enough flags, and they're mostly destroyed at this point in time, but we built enough flags to delete their entire chain of flags um, and buy ourselves a little bit more time. Obviously, we weren't going to be able to hold against them. Otherwise, we would still be fighting them if we thought we could actually win a continued fight against these kingdoms. Uh, however, this was a hell of a move. Let me jump back to the footage. So here you can see I'm kind of uh, trying to spam stuff the pa a pass with marches here. Uh, and we're garrisoning with a Xeno YSS. Now, throughout the course of this, we try out a bunch of different garrisons, uh, largely because we're trying to kill off different troop types. So at one point, we switch it up to using archers in the garrison, even though archers are not meta, because at least the pass can't get swarmed. Not really. You can only have three things hitting a pass at a time. And we wanted a way to kill off some archers. So uh, at some point, they start rallying us with calves. We're garrisoning with archers. And that's just a recipe for disaster. But we, we kind of don't care at this moment in the KVK. We're in the middle of our Imperium drop. We're having some fun zeroing cities. And actually, this attack that we did on Kingsland might have been the most fun that we had all KVK. It was just absolutely hilarious. Um, and there were just a ton of rallies that we launched. In fact, if I skip through some of this footage, I mean, you can see, look look at this. There are so many city rallies going on. I can just show you that, that one part of the footage here where I'm just cruising through the rally screen. And again, I have hours of this footage. And here's the rally screen, right? Like, ton of cities getting rallied here. Pass is obviously getting rallied as well. Let me show you some more of this. So one thing that I found really funny is that you don't actually have to have territory connected to the different citadels around the ziggurat, which give a bunch of buffs. In fact, this is the reason why trading positive is going to be like nearly impossible against these folks at this point, because the zig buffs give them something like 3% uh, less damage taken and 3% more damage dealt. Plus, they have all these stats from these different citadels, but we had somebody running around taking the citadels, which was pretty funny. Also, don't the Citadels, like, attack the Zig? So if there was anybody in there, they would have been hit. Heck, there were even just, like, a ton of farms that were just, like, chilling in King's Land that we hit. And, like, just freaking devastating, man. They're off territory, so they all got hit. And, and look, if I was in 365, I would have expected King's Land to be perfectly secure. Like, I wouldn't have expected this sort of an attack to even be um, fathomable or achievable. Uh, but once we took the pass, 
it was actually really problematic for them because once we had the pass, uh, we could go and we could reinforce it with farms and kind of do whatever we needed to do to be able to just hit all these cities and steal a lot of resources. Um, and there were just rallies kind of going all over the place here. Now, you may be wondering, like, just go, what, well, like, why did you make this attack kind of when you did as a kingdom? Um, and one thing I will point out, in fairness, is that we had a blunder on our end as well that I think got us thinking more critically about our territory. Um, we, in, in our kingdom, had relocated a fort, but the person who was relocating that fort didn't realize that the other fort keeping our territory connected was about to burn. And so a bunch of our cities got caught off territory, which sucks. Mistakes were made. Um, and, like, that does happen. Here's Bunny looting a city, <laughs> by the way. Uh, I mean, like, you know, like, people random ported into the zone. Like, it got really chaotic. So if I had to guess, I think it was that mistake that we made. And there's, like, no way around it. It was a mistake. It was an honest mistake um, where we got a bunch of our own cities zeroed. That got us thinking, wait a minute, their flag chain is actually extremely vulnerable and so then we made the attack so here's the part of the evening festivities and this is toward the tail end where now we're using archers and this was my suggestion at this point i switched to my main it actually was much later at night i think at this point my wife had gone to bed so i jump on to voice and am uh, actively playing on my main and switching it a garrison and we switched i think it was like mid rally when they were using pakal herald to use our archers but then we were like, actually, let's kill off a bunch of these archer troops. And this is when they started rallying with Attila and Nevsky. And they did so because of the anti-swarm capability of the Attila and Nevsky combination, right? Um, because if you use XY and Nevsky, oh my god, that is going to freaking obliterate archers. But it's very, very swarmable. And toward the end of the evening, we kind of run out of steam for a continued fight here. I mean, we've been garrisoning this thing for a very long time. Didn't even know we had this much fight left in our kingdom. And you can see, at some point, we're using uh, Amanatorian YSS. And you may be wondering, like, why would you do that? Why not Amanatorian Artemisia? And the reason is pretty straightforward. Um, the problem is that we had a lot of different troop types in the pass. I mean, this is the end of KVK, man. We got the dregs of the dregs. We, got, we have what we have to put into this pass. And even if we had all archers, I mean, well, we just don't. Most, pe most people can't just put in whatever troop type uh, is requested necessarily. So because the troop types were so varied, we went with a YSS secondary instead of the Artemisia secondary. And I think that's a fine choice. Um, I, I understand the logic. In fact, I remember at the time, the amount of damage we were taking was kind of ridiculous. I mean, think, think about it. If you have a bunch of archer gear on a garrison, but you don't have archer troops in the garrison, even with a commander like YSS, you're still going to be taking kind of a ridiculous amount of damage because you're missing, so many troops are missing all of the stats that they should be having for defense and health and attack. You get pretty wrecked. So anyways, it's a mixed garrison. And uh, let me pull up some of the, the, the action. Okay, here's the city getting rallied. Uh, Charles Martel on the wall. And I mean, honestly, Pakal Herald, like you can't swarm this. This is, this is like, if you swarm this, you're going to have troops die. There's like just no way around it. Um, and by the way, if you want to see a video where we talked about that, card will be up in the top where Sean the Sheep gets swarmed a number of times and just it's, I mean, it's very entertaining to the point where I think he had to, I mean, they had to stop swarming him and just, just let the rally hit the city. Okay, this is actually kind of a funny moment. So they were filling the rally with farms. And so we launched a Barb Fort rally with a bunch of Pakal Heralds in it and then the, canceled that rally to deposit them behind the enemy lines to go and take out the farm troops. Oh, man. That was actually... I forgot that we did that. That was pretty funny. Okay, here's the tail end of us rotating in with the garrison with a Monitory and YSS against the Attila and Nevsky. And I did talk about this in my tier list, um, that Attila and Nevsky is an option. And this report is obviously very good for them. Uh, that was 800,000 dead for us, 600,000 dead for them. Uh, but when you factor in... I mean, all the stats that they have extra, all the bonuses they have with the all damage taken and reduction. Actually, I mean, we did pretty decently there and just like a ridiculous amount of one trooping here. And I guess the last thing I'll show as I sort of cruise through this footage is um, why it is that you absolutely cannot let an XY Nevsky rally sit with archers. We get absolutely decimated here. This is just savage, man. Um, and so I'll show this rally 
where they just completely wreck us in the past. We're basically out of steam. We don't have the field to go and take out the rally. Um, we're swapping in with the garrison here and just, I mean, the report is going to be savage. I, I'm looking at my <laughs> monitor. I'm like, my gear is on, right? Why, why are we getting wrecked here? It's pretty bad. Um, and XY with Nevsky just destroys archers. It's disgusting. I would say that in our last KVK, Monitorian and Artemisia were a super, super strong garrison that were weak to swarming but could beat literally any other rally 1v1. And in this KVK, I would say that now it's a very risky pop proposition to put archers into a garrison because of how likely it is that you'll just get rallied with calves anyways and how savage the cavalry are into your archers. It's just pretty gross. So um, XY with... Nevsky is the most dangerous rally combo, highest DPS by far, not even a question, but it is the weakest to getting swarmed, okay? And so that's what the Attila was there for with the Nevsky in order to give it enough anti-swarm that you really can't deal with it. And at this point, we're so worn out that we really can't deal with it anyways. Um, and they've, I mean, they've obviously got field on us. They're coming into their uptime. We're on our way into our downtime. This was late at night. That's like 11 o'clock at night for me. That's not as late as I thought it was. I remember this being like a much later night than it was. Uh, but I think that the festivities started at about 22 UTC, if I remember correctly, and end around 3 UTC. So I think it was all about five hours in total. Uh, we did a bunch of damage, had a lot of fun. And I think that's the most important part. This was like some of the most fun I had all KVK. Um, and I think in part that was because like none of it really mattered. Like troops were dying. Doesn't matter. It's good for our Imperium drop. We're going to have a great recruitment in. Um, if you don't mind all your troops dying in almost every KVK, <laughs> link will be in the description to go for the uh, <clears throat> 254 uh, migration discord. Also, I don't know if you're interested in a uh, perhaps slightly, only slightly, more cautious gameplay. My restart's a pretty sweet kingdom, but uh, I think we're only recruiting players under 60 million power at this point. So uh, if you fit the bill for that, link will be in the description down below. Uh, yeah, I mean, this was just a lot of fun, honestly. So I recorded it, and here's the footage. And I'll show this rally report. I mean, we get wrecked, man. It's bad. They're going to beat the garrison for sure. It's going to be GG. Okay, fast forwarded another six minutes here. <laughs> I mean, we held this pass for a very long time. Pass is on its way down. I'm bringing a new march back to this thing. It, it's GG. They got us here. Uh, but it was fun. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. My gear is on. Confirmed. You'll see, you'll see how shredded this garrison gets. I'll pull up the report in a second. It ain't going to be good, man. I'll tell you that much. This garrison dips so low and stays low for a long time. I mean, ideally in this sort of a situation, you kind of just let the garrison go. You almost have to when it's down under a million. I'm going to set my march to come back. And that's not the right one. Oh, I guess we were deciding to switch it up to Zeno. We did switch it up to Zeno. I think it's too little too late, though. Oh, yeah, we're we're really in trouble now, man. So we make the call to switch to Zeno, uh, which I think is a good call, but also I think we're we're pretty wrecked at this point. And um, yep, this is the GG territory. Big time GG territory. Oh man. Yep, they make the call to stop reinforcing on voice. I turn around because it's it's game over, and we're giving the pass at this point. Don't try to hold it, just give it. We had our fun. It was a good time. Enough is enough. See you later. And they get the pass. If you enjoyed this video, throw a like on here and consider subscribing. This was a pretty fun escapade, not going to lie. And the report was as catastrophic as you might expect. Uh, yep, 2.7 to 1.6 million dead troops. GG, big rep. But we consoled ourselves by saying, uh, at least this is what we tell ourselves. It's like, you know how many cities we zeroed? <laughs> like, we took negative trades on the pass. To just zero, uh, I mean, people were guessing between 50 and 60 cities. Even if we didn't trade positive, it was honestly some of the most fun we had at all KVK. Until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies and, uh, I don't know, win or lose, consider coming to 254. We have a good time here.